Ba isile Dubai ambo mtu ambo alikuwa huko 5 years ago. Mhm. Mm Aki change change job. Mm -hmm. Then aka leave country akikuja ta the same. Kwa sababu mm -hmm. mtu anakuambia mimi ni ex golf, mimi ni ex nini nataka kwenda Dubai kutafuta kazi. Mm -hmm. Dubai ime change size. Mm -hmm. Ime change vibaya sana kwa sababu ile dubs ambayo ilikuwa kitambo ilikuwa unaweza chai job mm -hmm. na utafu, utama uh, as long as uko na hiyo experience yeah. it will take you only few weeks few days umepata mm -hmm. job nyingine mm -hmm. sasa hizi unaweza kuwa na 20 years hiyo hiyo experience ukose kazi ala hapa 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 juu sorry mm -hmm. kuna mtu hapa chini kuna dem kitanda muzima inatetema yani ngoja na utaambia nini huyu mtu na kwa space yake ya bed hiyo bed space au kwa space yake haja gusa yako anyway it's true but sasa hapo ebo haja kurudisha nyuma so jambo guys this is your guys zik and welcome to just zik show so guys leo tuko na an exclusive guest jamaa i think ushamwona kwa show before so again we pata na yetu pata na dubai yo jamaa nilenda kumtafuta so kupata jamaa is not that easy taacha tena ji introduce for the new viewers for the new subscribers and then uh, we get to know alifika je kenya anafanya nini kenya <laughs> karibu bro <laughs> karibu kenya <laughs> shukran bro shukran shukran karibu jo eh ah me kama jani ta patrick kama online uh, patrick ni id mm -hmm. but anajua kama coach patrick because i'm a fitness coach uh -huh. Ya yeah, mimi na umezanga watu kwa Dubai. Uh -huh. ndiyo tuna wanasema tunapiga mboka. Tunapiga mboka. mboka. <laughs> so ili so ili ya vijana wa saa hizi. Kiswahili ya shembe tweng, shembe tweng. Karibu yeah, Kenya bro. Thanks, thanks, bro. Na e, usiki baridi. Unajua Dubai inaelewa joto inakuaga hapa. Nimeona nimeona wase. Unajua kinono kwa mafuta. Usiseme hivyo. Coach anafaa kusema nimeunga. Ah ah. Mimi sisiki baridi. Mtu akiwa na mafuta that's why yeah. na zile kondo zina kuanga rashes zina kuanga zimeona hivi. Sasa yako ni healthy fat ama ni lean fat. Lean fat. Yes. <laughs> anyway, karibu Kenya. <laughs> shukran, shukran. So tutatuambia nini imekuleta Kenya specifically mm. unajua wewe tunajua kazi yako unafanyia Dubai. Mm. Yaani umesettle Dubai wewe na watu wako. Sasa so, specifically unakujua nini imekuleta Kenya sasa hizi. Huko ni home. So ni nimekuja home. Mm -hmm. So mtu akikuja home uko na home asidhani kama <laughs> unafaa kupea na explanation but <laughs> anyway ni ile tu una miss home unajua east or west home is the best mm -hmm. so sometimes uki miss home you have to come tuko na vitu ziko huko tuko na familia tuko na relatives mm -hmm. we have friends huko ndio huko ndio home no matter what so mm -hmm. tukikujanga huko we feel good to meet na watu mm -hmm. friends kukagua projects naendeleaje mm -hmm. yeah at least wa paro kituona wana feel ya yeah. Oh mtu wetu ya yeah, kosamu ya bata na kujanga. Mhm. Mm watu wana saa wingi kuja kukuta kutembelea maparo. Na yeah, that's good. Yeah, yes. Anyway, so karibu Kenya tena. Shukran bro. So kitu kuna kitu kwa rani kuuliza specifically. Mm. Kuna vitu zile zina run pale online media. Kwanza uko na following kubwa pale TikTok. Waje wewe ni influencer <laughs> ama inasemaje? Wewe ni kio cha jamii. <laughs> Wasema una kufollow sana pale TikTok. Shukran bro. Hata YouTube na kuona na kufollow. Shukran. So bro. kuna hiki kitu niliona recently wasio waliongelea wakasema watu wako Dubai wako Gulf what to class to class to dropouts mikono michachisha mbaya sana ili hayo kitu niliuma kwa sababu ya most of these people wenye koko nje sikupenda kwao ni situation imefanya watu wameenda huko kama hapa kwetu kungekuwa better than huko hakuna mtu ambaye live hapa but here is not better even though you have your papers and whatever kule tuko na lawyers ni cleaner tuko na dem ni mbochi na kuna bachelor degree kwa sema kama kama ni kwa marketing and whatever mm -hmm. wako mimi mm -hmm. niko na best yangu huko ni security huko mm -hmm. msiako ako hadi na masters kwa sijua irono na ndio gani mm -hmm. so watu ambao wako huko nje si ati wote tu ni ma, watu ambao ni ma failures in life watu ambao umeshindwa na maisha Kenya hapana mm -hmm. ni mtu mm -hmm. tu aliamua tu i want to change myself kwa sababu kika huko how many times umeona online watu wanachoma ma certificates ukilia wengi sana mm -hmm. so many kwa sababu ya depression hakuna kazi there is no one to hold your hands mm -hmm. in Kenya hapa nani ajui kama if you don't know anybody mm -hmm. karatasi zako zikusaidii mm -hmm. but outside there bid yako inakusaidia you don't have to know anybody mm -hmm. so you rather go for somewhere where you'll be paying your bills sleeping with a peace of mind waking up smiling mm -hmm. than uku every day unaishi na fear kwa sababu nyumba ambayo unakaa ni rent yeah, true. every time you are just living from hand to mouth yani kitu ambacho unapata is either ulipe rent mm -hmm. is either ulipe school fees is either una kitu yote savings mm -hmm. most of i think 70 to 80% of kenyans wanaanga anything to do with savings mm -hmm. kwa sababu that money first of all is not there yeah. uta save kesho emergency umetokelezea ile saving yako ya 5k umeitoa tena mm -hmm. so hiyo ndio 
kiti na recover ina recover ina recover uh -huh. so it's better outside there hata kama una save 10k uh -huh. uko 100% sure kuwa hii ni kiamua sitaigusa sitaigusa uh -huh. unless kitu happen but most of the time umeshajipanga na the other bills uh -huh. yeah bro so umeongelea about saving actually mm. na bring to my second question mm. Unapata pale Gulf pia kwa ile channel yako unaongelea una advice wasi how to save zile platform ama zile institution wanafaa ku save nazo zile packages zile lands wanafaa kwenda wa buy saa kama wewe ni mpiga luku hii machine yako hata tukiangalia hapa nyuma hebu <laughs> tupe siri tupe siri. siri it's just about <laughs> not forgetting your mission you know mm -hmm. all i always say una una nimeni nimekuwa ni advocate for we left home to change home mm -hmm. so when you left home to change home usifike huko kwa absorb kwa vitu ambavyo zikukupeleka mm -hmm. wewe most of people ambao wako golf ni wa, kama wewe uko golf wewe ni mtu ambao family most of the family most of nine, i can say 99% watu ambao wako golf they are not coming from fortunate family yeah true mm -hmm. most of us tunatoka kwa very humble backgrounds mm -hmm. and that's the reason is golf is the easiest way to go kwa sababu ukiangalia hata air ticket and everything mm -hmm. requirements it's the easiest country to go Mm -hmm. Watu ambao wako na madoa watu ambao familia zao zinajiweza kidogo wako USA na Canada kwa sababu hao ndio mnaona wanakoniwanga ma 500 m yeah, 500k so, ma uh -huh. 400k kwa sababu uh -huh. uh -huh. mtu ambaye anaenda golf ni saa nyingine ni mtu anapeleka bure uh -huh. uh -huh. umekuja umerekrutiwa hapa umelipiwa kuna wengine anatengeza mpaka passport unatengezewa passport free unatengezewa unatengezewa visa unapelekwa medical wewe unaambua tu uko na bag weka bag kwa mgongo <laughs> kuja hivyo uh -huh. So ni places ambao tukienda most of the time mm -hmm. ni watu ambao wametoka from a very humble background mm -hmm. and uh, me what I always when ukambia na mwambianga mm -hmm. don't forget your mission stay on your mission mm -hmm. kule utafika utapata watu wamekaa huko 20 years mm -hmm. mtu amekaa huko 15 years mm -hmm. mtu somehow wengine wamejipanga wengine wajajipanga yeah, but don't be absorbed kwa hii kwa hizi trend ambao unaona golf kwa sababu sometimes i just sit and watch the whatever happening online i become so sad yeah true mm. mtu amefanya kazi the whole day then ikifika jioni mm. ako online ako ako online ako tiktok or ako wherever live anafanya vitu zingine za hata unimaginable mm. hii nguvu unatoa wapi sisi by the end of the day we are so so exhausted yeah, we just want mm. to rest because we have another long day tomorrow mm. sasa hizi ndio vitu ambazo zikulink tap unapata you lose your focus kabisa mm -hmm unakaa huko 20 years unarudi home nothing mm -hmm. instead of utumia hiyo wifi ambayo uko nao hapo ya bure mm -hmm. ku do some research, researches mm -hmm. kuangalia kama ni pesa utasave aje kama ni investment unatoka mm -hmm. wapi unatoka Kirinyago unatoka Kisumu unatoka uh, Uluyani huko place gani ambayo unaweza buy affordable yenye unaweza afford piece of land mm -hmm. this is how you use your hiyo free wifi unapewangwa mm -hmm. but some people hiyo free wifi yao tu ni ya tiktok ni ya kutwak ni ya kustock <laughs> watu ni ya kusalimia madem my inbox hi hi mm -hmm. Yeah so that's the thing it's all about discipline and dedication mm -hmm. discipline and don't forget where you're coming from and stick to the mission kwa mm -hmm. you left home ukiwa nothing you have to back, come back home ukiwa something mm -hmm. wewe zitoka home wewe ulitoka home kwa umeparara yeah, unatoka place ambayo umetoka huko hata umetoka majume umepanda ndege all of a sudden umekam home after 10 years mm -hmm. after two months watu wanakuwa na tari base umeanza ku hang out na ile base ambayo uliacha Apana, you have to be someone lazima by the time unakuja you are busy with something mm -hmm. Mm hiyo ndio respect yako na ya familia yako itabaki hapo but the moment yeah, right. unakuja after one month au kuwa hakuna kitu uko umesave respect hata mm -hmm. ya familia inaishanga mm -hmm. bila zako mdogo ama sister yako mdogo anaweza kuangalisha mbaya hadi wazazi wako mm -hmm. ushtue kwa sababu you have nothing to offer yeah, true. these people only smile at you when you have something on your hand mm -hmm. si kwamba utasota and make sure that day doesn't come mm -hmm. kwa sababu some family members watasimama na wewe others they'll make you feel like you are the most failure like guy person they have never seen on planet earth mm -hmm. yeah so mongelea watu wana get lost into the things in ziko dubai unajua kuna mm -hmm. dubai we see on social media mm -hmm. actually dubai hebu kwanza tuambie dubai ni country ama ni uae is a country dubai is a city uae has eight cities mm -hmm. kiaka dubai weke abu dhabi weke sharjah weke ras al kaima malkwain mm -hmm. alain Uh, Ajman hizo zote ni city ambazo zinafollow under UAE. Mm. So Dubai is a city. Some people think Dubai is a country. Dubai mm. is a city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ni ni UAE, mm. United Arab Emirates, then it has eight cities, Dubai is one of them. So Dubai is the most developed city mm -hmm. and it, it has a lot of tourist attraction. That's why 
watu wanafikiria nga Dubai is a country but ah. Dubai is not a country it's just a small city oh. sure. so back to my question mm -hmm. Maybe siji kama ndezo ongelea, but these are the things that is na happen in UAE. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia, kuna hiki tunaitua pima. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia pia pima, tunaongelea about pombe. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia wa Kenya wengi wa mpotelea kwa hizo pima, wa mpotelea kwa hizo pombe, na vile uko online wa jeru kwa advocate watu wa focus. Maybe you have something to say about it, because we una kaapu na unona hawa see. Okay, personally, mimi wambianga watu, shere nae piga. Mm hiyo sitakwambia tu usipige kama mm. una wewe ni mtu wa kamnyweso unasikia hiyo ndio nakupatia yanga peace of mind mm -hmm. piga but piga na plan mm -hmm. hata hizo pima unaenda enda na plan si mm -hmm. ati monday to sunday wewe after kutoka job the first stop before to fike kwa accommodation yako weke bag chini ni pima mm -hmm. uh -uh. You, are, you are losing it mm -hmm. watu huku nje wanapiga ngasi sherehe but have time ya kupiga sherehe kazi kwanza upate pesa ndio upige sherehe mm -hmm. most of kenyans by the way mary job me there is a time i was so sad na kutana mkenya na nijua coach anaenda job usubuhi amelewa ananuka rufu nyingine unbelievable mm. you know then unamuuliza wewe unaenda job saa hizi na mimi saa hizo ni mtu alikuwa ni hawa kutengeza coffee anaitwaje barista mm. unaenda job aje ukiwa hivi ambia hawataelewa tu <laughs> and then something yani so unfortunate, unfortunate. alifika mm. job na akafutwa job yode so sad so sad mm. who boy akaangaika alika almost 3 4 months bila job mm -hmm. no so vitu kama hizi ndio saa nyingine zinatuchomea kwa sababu the moment umechoma picha hivyo and your employer this is a kenyan he cannot want to hire another kenyan mm -hmm. so red umeshachomea picha wa kenya wengine 50 wenye kwa kuja kwa hiyo kampuni mm -hmm. hawatachukua mkenya wengine sababu hiyo ndio tabia hiyo ndio ina label kwa wa kenya ni walevi sana mm -hmm. when they started drinking our our kwangi like uh, our kwangi productive kwa job mm -hmm. yeah so si mbaya kukulewa piga shere yako tuliza roho yako kama ndio inakufanya upate peace of mind as long as unajua where you are heading to and where you have come from mm -hmm. yeah. so and the other thing uh, maybe ni kitu umeona hata wewe unakuwa street kingia pale ukiangalia dubai mm -hmm. let me talk about dubai mm -hmm. you about the other cities uko ue mm -hmm. kwa street nakuta kuna hizi papers tunaokota the small papers me and the contacts me kwa picha mtu ako half naked uh who she in contact kuna wakenya wanafanya hiyo biashara let's say direct to prostitution uko dubai okay hiyo siezi ya ananio kuna ni ku verify sana kwa kuna wakenya wanafanya hizo but uh, kuna some places like uko daira uko place ambapo watu wanauza ngavi vitu ziko affordable kwa tomboy ziko afford kwa malls mm -hmm. utaenda wapate hapo misimama wengi na wengi mostly ni wa nigeria i mean waganda mm -hmm. Nigerians. Wa Kenya sijai ona kwa sababu mimi pia sijai get into contact hata nionge nao hata sasa mbona umesama hapa ama nione mtu najua hapana but from how ukisikia ukiongea ukipita sababu wanakuanga saa nyingine so many ladies. Yes. Ukipita unasikia ukiongea. But wengi wao ni accent za Kiganda. Mhm. Waganda na Nigeria sana sana kwa hizo into that business Kenya sijai ona unless kama wako but for me I have never encountered any. Mhm. Yeah. So the other question is about uh, ukiangalia kama Dubai kitambo watu walikuwa wanatembea na visit visa maybe siku mbili tatu wiki mtu anapata job but recently vile tulikoko last time tulipata watu wengi wako kwa overstay na some percentage pia wasi ni makemboy mm. so unaweza sema maybe kazi za Dubai zimerudi down watu wasiende ama watu wapunguze ama unaonaje sasa hizi situation ni kwaje Dubai okay since after covid Dubai si le Dubai ambao mtu ambao alikuwa huko 5 years ago mm -hmm. aki change change job mm -hmm. then aka leave country akikuja ta the same kwa sababu mm -hmm. mtu anakuambia mimi ni ex gulf mimi ni ex nini nataka kwenda Dubai kutafuta kazi mm -hmm. Dubai ime change size mm -hmm. ime change vibaya sana kwa sababu ile dubs ambao ilikuwa kitambo ilikuwa unaweza chai job mm -hmm. na utafu, utama uh, as long as uko na hiyo experience yeah. it will take you only few weeks few days umepata mm -hmm. job nyingine mm -hmm. sasa hizi unaweza kuwa na 20 years hiyo hiyo experience ukose kazi kwa sababu first of all wa Afrika wamechoma sana CV yetu si poa sana dubs mm -hmm. unajua kitu iki happen huko UAE mm -hmm. na iko ni mu Afrika kwa involved our, our they don't label this is Nigeria na umefanya they don't label who ni mkenya mifanya who ni mkenya join the difference wanasema africa mm. africa africa too much problem africa too much problem mm -hmm. so hiyo pia ime taint image yetu as, as africans mm -hmm. ukieka pia wa kenya ndani yetu even though sisi tuko lucky enough still to are getting visas mm -hmm. some countries like nigerians and some uganda uh, our party visit visa mm -hmm. na hii visit visa most of the people wanachukua anga pia kutoka huku 
agents na danganyanga watu kuwa hii visit visa mm. ni kukupatia hati ukona job direct, ukona job already. Visit visa siya kazi. Oh, hiyo unaenda kutembea, we ni mtali. Mm. So, umengelea hati mambo ya bed space. Actually, I know you came back, uh, you came up from hizo ma bed space ndi ukakuwa coach Patrico. So, hizi ma bed space. Uneza explain ya maybe wase wale wajafika Dubai. Mtu wajatoka Kenya nasikiaga bed space. Na Kenya na understand bed space. Maybe kuna vila wamechanganyo mademu na machali. Uneza explain ya wase maybe yeah, bed viewers. Space. Bed space vanya the term is vanya sound bed space. Mm -hmm. So, ni space ya kitanda. Mm -hmm. That's what you pay for. Kingia kwa room. E space ya kitanda yako, iyo ndiyo yako, iyo ndiyo unalipia. So that's the thing, bed space. Mm -hmm. So unapata bed space ikona watu kama kumi, room moja. Room moja ikona watu kumi, hizi watu kumi, ni kitvitanda. Vitanda ya chini na juu, ya chini na juu. Then bay pia zinavari uwa, juu ni cheaper than chini. Mm -hmm. Chini ni expensive, sabu, juu is tiring na kupanda kushuka. Kupanda mm -hmm. kushuka, so watu prefanga chini. Mm -hmm. So that's the basically the name of bed space. Then mm -hmm. kuna zi comics, kuna wengine wana kangatu madem peke yake, mm -hmm. sijeo na machali peke yake. Madem na prefam ka peke yake, machali ka peke yake atalita dem, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. So, mingi, ziko tu hivyo, tu ni place ya kuanzi yanga, place, uh, siya kuanzi yanga, kuna watu pia maishi hapo throughout. Mm -hmm. But ni place pia ni affordable kama you cannot afford apartment. Mm -hmm. Sabu process ya apartment pia huko si raisi, lazima mm -hmm. huko kwa pay slip mzuri. Mm -hmm. yeah. So kwa chesu nasema kwa hizi bed space, example, ati mi siyezi lalanata kelelea watch. Mm. Siyezi lalata mtu wa kingorota. So kama kulona na ngorota kuna wala kwa TikTok live pale Dubai. Kwa hiyo bed space saa watu wana manijaje. Asa <laughs> <laughs> ah, hapo ndiyo stare garama wadi na kuja. Uh -huh. Sabu. Your situation, your salary, you can force you to finish the work that you have to do with the So you have to deal with the situation. It's a bit of noise cancellation headphones. Or you can pick up your phone in your room or in your studio. If you want to go to the bed, you can adapt to the situation. Because the bed is the best way to work. So this is a lot of people who are here. This is a lot of people who are here. You can say, okay, boss. Mi nitafanya nini mi na ngorota. Mm. So what will I do about yeah, it? True. Nothing. Okay, mwingine pia wanapata wacha kungorota. We unalala hapa, 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 hapa juu, sorry. Mm. Kuna mtu hapa china kuna demu. Kitanda muzima inatetema. Yani, ngoja, ngoja. Na utawambia nini umtu na kukwa space yake ya bed. Hiyo bed space, hakukwa space yake. Aja gusa yako. Anyway, it's true. But sasa hapo ebu waja kurudishe nyuma. Atukwa sema, I bed space, mtu wana lachini, mgini juu. So, let me turn it around. Sa mtu wa juu, anakubalika kuleta mtu. Yes, indio. So, kitanda inatetemeka. Kitanda inatetemeka ni kama train ya hile za kitambo za kuenda Mombasa. Inatetema, usikumuzima utafanya nini. Mtu anaenda joba, mechoka, yeah, mechoka. Na kelele, na kujua, hakuweza kulala. So, most of the people in bed spaces, utapata they invest so much on these headphones. Yeah. Nunuwa funga tu macho baba, nunuwa tu headphones ya Bose, nunuwa headphones ya Apple, hiko na noise cancellation mzuri, shida zako zitaisha. So kwa chesu unasema ati watu wanatetemesha vitanda sana, kuna privacy hapo wazini, mtu unasema, oh wewe, wewe, wewe. Privacy gani, uko na stare garama. Hapo kitaka privacy, nunuwa headphones, kama wezi kwa afford single room yako, hacha watu wawo. Wapendane. Ati watu walambane. Even though kuna watu pia wanakuanga so annoying, they don't respect their roommates. Yo, me, personally, sija ishi kwa bed space. Sija wai, but I have friends wanya koko, nimesha visit watu, nimesha ungea na watu, venye lives out ziko. So kuna watu wengine pia, yani hile tu, hako tu na madharau tu. Anaona uyu, ya amikuwa job, amikuwa job mchana. Amikuja jioni, no? So, hey, Gioni, amesau kuwa kuna mtu amba ametoka, anaenda job very early in the morning, anamuka 4 a.m. ama 3 a.m. Antaka piece of, antaka kulala mapema. But sasa utapata, they don't respect that. That's why I appreciate sometimes our mobile space owners. Wamekanga rules. Kuna wengine wako so strict kuwa ikifisha fika saine, tazi mezimwa, gasu mezima. Hakuna kupika, hakuna kufuwa nguo. Unless in special occasion kama kuna mtu nakuja toka job late. But hakuna kufuwa nguo, especially the machine ndo namekengi noi sana. Sabu utapata sometimes, okay, kitchen iko mbali, unaheza wendo upike. But machine, utapata kai kukaribu, inapinyingi mkelele. But wengine, ni kiburi tu na madharau, wanafanyanga wenza. Which sometimes sipoa. Hapo ni nyinyo wate muna try kusurvive. So usi inconvenience mwazako juo. 
hawezi afford na wengine mm. juu ya stare zingine za unaweza fanya kama hayuko yeah, right. right. mm. yeah. so ukiangalia kama hiyo stare unasema kutengeneza kitanda unapata huko of course watu hiyo wanazaliwa kila siku mm. na unapata mtu ayuko kwa like kwa relationship mtu ameolewa ama hajaoa so hizi zinume umen counter ama zina happen zina happen zina happen watu wengi kuna watoto huko but you know last year government ili change rules so mm -hmm. size rules in different rules kama kitambo mm -hmm. size you can have a unaweza kuishi na partner wako si lazima hata mkuwe married oh. size unaweza shika ball huko na time ya kuzaa hadi uende clinic time ya kuzaa upatiwe uchukue leave yako na ukuje home ah, without any nice. problem mm -hmm. so unapata ya watu wengi siku hizi huko wako na wako na girlfriend anashipa moja mm -hmm. wako na watu wengi pia huko kama unaweza afford mm -hmm. unaweza na kato na eh as long as unaweza afford Squeeze is not that much to get a marriage certificate. And still, the battle comes to take a marriage certificate nowadays is much easier. It's just 300 dirham. Mm. When I end Abu Dhabi, I will charge him some money. I will charge anybody. We have them to go. We have a birth certificate. We have to take a picture of my day. Yako. When I end, I am na. When I party, when I party a date, when I end, in less than 30 minutes, we make a baby na buana. Officially. That fast. Ah, yeah. Yeah. nice. Unajua hapa kuoa Kenya ni gharama bwana. <laughs> ah, huko si tuna prefer hata huko sababu huko. Eh. Mko tu nyinyi wawili mkitoka hapo mjipeleke kwa restaurant yenu mkule chipo zenu na nini za mimi. Shawarma hapo. Shawarma yenu na juice. <laughs> nah, you know life goes on kwa sababu that paper is not that much important than the, your relation with your partner. Yeah, right. Mnaweza kuwa mmefanya vile multimillion wedding but relationship yako na partner like, yako mm. that's why una watu wanaendanga honeymoon and divorce yanga kwa honeymoon kwa mm. sababu mm. it's not all about that paper it's all about how do you relate mm. how do you understand your partner mm. unamjuaje kuna watu wamekana partner zao more than 10 years but amjui mm. sijui anapenda nini mm. ajui napenda nini ajui mm. together ni kasirisha yeah, that's what matters mm. yeah mm. so hata kuna kitu kingine ukiangalia hapa social media sana sana kama recently una kuna lem mwingine aliwa mwingine Saudi Hizo ndiyo vitu sana sana tumezoea Kenya kuona like watu wana uana. Mm. And then kuna natural causes za death kama mm. kawaida zina happen zina tuoni social media. Mm. Maybe unaweza guzi hiyo story ju Dubai na realize watu wengi sana wanakufa but hizo tu uoni kwa social media. Mm. Ah hiyo okay, kukufa watu Dubai now. Hiyo mm. place hiyo kila pahali Kenya uh, dunia nzima watu na dead so. Yeah, right. mm. See hati kukufa ni kitu moja kubwa sana vya watu chukilanga but sasa media inapendanga this kind of negativity this, this, this is what kiki. sells yeah. this is what sells ukiambia mtu uh, your success story nini na nini hizo uh, watu wa bayi wataki uh, mm. watu wanataka kusikia eh yule alikatwa mguu na mdodo <laughs> yule saizi ana mapua anavuruta right. hewa na mdomo hizo mm. ndio vitu zina sell mm. so unapata negativity ina sell more kwa watu ambao kwa, kwa sababu watu ambao wako huko Kenya ambao hajai hajai enda nchi za nje kama kaga wana kitu negatives au always wana, wana relate okay sketch any, anything to do with golf kitu ya kwanza ina ring kwa mind Saudi. Mm. Saudi watu wanauliwa. Hizo ndio vitu zina ringi kwa mind yao. Hawajui kuwa there are some ladies in Saudi who wame manage to make very big difference in their lives wako na properties huko. Mm -hmm, true. Eh? Mm. Wako na watoto wamesomesha mpaka university. Mm. Yaani there are some people there with the recommendable names. Mm. But hasa hiyo hiyo media ifuatangi hiyo media nitaka ile pale huo demo hasa amefika analia anafinywa. <laughs> hiyo ndiyo <laughs> yeah. mm. so kukufa ni kitu normal hiyo ni kitu iko mm -hmm. sometimes pia kuna zile kukufa pia sama za ujinga juu kama unashinda kwa tei na ukuli mm -hmm. utakufa itakuchoma maini na ukufe mm -hmm. but hizo cases ziko but not that much mm -hmm. kila pali tu kama hizo masaudi za kupigana za makemboi mm -hmm. hizo pia ziko but hatuwezi sema ati wanapigana kwa mwezi wa tutano hizo ni moja after mm -hmm. one year moja after wawili after one year yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So lastly maybe unajua sasa tumeona ulikuwa na award fulani the best coach in Dubai. Mm. Eh, so na tukiangalia pia kuna zile project umeendeleza hapa Kenya mm. na maybe unaweza ambiwa si secret yako vile umeko kimanage mpaka sasa hizi unaweza itoa maybe your net worth ni <laughs> anyway <laughs> eh sasa unaweza mm. maybe secret yako ya at least unaona uko na project hapo unaendelea mm. watu wanaamini Dubai mtu hizi anzisha project kama hii ama golf. Mm. Kuna sisi maybe uniko wash wash. Ah. <laughs> Uko nje kuna do. Kuna watu wanaana hata kunishinda by the way. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wanaana kwa sababu kule ukiani 30,000 mm hiyo -hmm. kuna 1.2 1.3. 30,000 ya Kenya. Ya huko. Ni sema ukiani huko 30,000 ni hiyo ni meter plus ya Kenya. Oh nice. So mm -hmm. kuna watu wanaana mimi kuna mjamaa anajua na ni Mkenya na ana karibu 60,000 tao. Mm -hmm. Huyo ni mtu anani meter mbili per month. Na si ati ni mtu mkubwa tu kwa watu wanamjua. Mm -hmm. Mtu wa kawaida mtu wa kawaida 
ananiyo. So, uko inje kuna doo. Mm -hmm. Kuna doo, it's just a matter of sasa unajipangaje. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wakona job poa kwa mshara ya juu, but awaju kujipanga, kujimaneji. Mm -hmm. Kuna mtomba wako kwa mshara kidogo, but anajua kujimaneji vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Haweke bills zake kando, haweke savings zake kando, haweke matumizi zake kando. Napata huu mtu anajimaneji vizuri, kushinda huu mdamuwa napata domo kwa sabu, wengi wawo mba mpata domo pia lifestyle inenda. Inenda juu. Nantaka mm -hmm. kimbia na BMW X, uh, X7. Ferrari. Antaka kimbia na IG. Antaka <laughs> sisi wa Kenya tukana hile tabia hile ya you have to be recognized ukifika pali kwa function ya wa Kenya. Mm. Uwezi fika mevaa ma, manani, manini kama hizi. Macrox. Macrox. Of Lota. <laughs> Antaka fike kwanza mipike hile kiatu ya, ya kongolizi hile ya mamba. Mm. Hile kiatu ni karibu 5,000 to 10,000 dirham. Mm. Hiyo ni ngiriso tatu. Ngiriso hile ya mm. Kenya. Mm. Hamepike hile mipike suti yake ya zin Simba ya na look, but mi wambianga watu, look simba lazima pia kuwa mtu representable. Pesa mm -hmm. hako pia ni wanese nyewe, zeki ni msmart pia. As much as ni msmart upstairs, ni msmart kimwili, mm -hmm. ni msmart in terms of development and everything. Mm -hmm. But usipige look na auna kitu. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Even umu ambia, look who doesn't take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. In the next 10 years, utambia mtoto wako hati nilikuwa na iPhone 14. <laughs> in the next 10 years. Utakuwa na maybe iPhone 20. Wa, wa iPhone 25 imesha fika. Unambia, why there, unajewa, mini litesa na iPhone 14. <laughs> Mtoto yata kuangalia, zindio enye babango weni danda. Nilikuwa na sikia mna ambao mefika class 2. Enye kuweli mlifika class 2. Sa mm. hizo mtu ambuwa alikona property in the next 10 years, mm. wati yake imepigia ime times 10. Mm. Eh? Afikiri mtoto wa yule na mtoto wako atakuwa na ongea story gani? Mm. Hakuna story waneza ongele chana. Yeah, yeah? Na ni wendo memulete down kwa sabu liko ndaka luko ndaka unekena machain. Wewe umechafua, ume, ya ni mademu wakuone. Mm. Kawa ni mademu, yeye, ni machain, ni manini, wanaituanga mama machain. Piga luko, hiyo nae lazima ukai smart. But mm. at the back of your mind, jua kuwa hii luko kama ta cost. Usipige tu luku hapa alafu kisha au uh, save enough kuja kutu kulilia watu online. Mm. Wata kujaji na hizo luku likuwa na piga. Mm. So we piga ujifuraishe but at the end of the day jua what brought you there. Si luku ilikupeleka huko. Mm. Ni to change your story ndi ilikupeleka huko. So coach hata uneza tuambia maybe nini likufanya ukamu waku invest back at home. Unajua kila mtu anta kuenda majua kienda hivi one way mm. Europe, Dubai ni kienda but uli amua urudi nyumo invest home. Mm. The other thing pia, unangalea sewa kuhu golf. Unapata mtu wa metrust brother hake, metrust mama hake, metrust jijirani, ya mba ya kaploti, ya mwanzie project. But unafika home, unapata project hai kuanza. Mtoto likuwa tumia nguo, hakubai wa nguo. Uli manage aje, na why did you decide to invest back home? First of all, mm. Mm, east or west, home is the best. Mwenda tezi na homo? Marejeo ngamani. Eh, Marejeo ni ngamani. So, mm. home is the best. Another mm. thing, lazima ujue, Especially kwa tomba kwa golf, kama siya mbo tuko UAE Dubai, hakuna mm -hmm. kule hata wakai 50 years, hakuna mm -hmm. citizenship utapatiwa. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. The moment kazi yake imeisha, hata hao mabigi, mabigi expatriate wana ulipuanga 200k mm -hmm. dirama ama real mm -hmm. per month. The moment job yake imeisha, you cannot sustain your life anymore. Mm -hmm. Go back to your country. Mm -hmm. Go back to your country. Uku si kama euro party, hatu utapatiwa citizenship, utapatiwa nini, ah ah. The only good advantage na hiyo place na, na golf ni kuwa pesa yako kama maandikiwa na lipwa 10,000 haikatu weta shilingi ni 10,000 utapata. Mm. Umandikiwa 50 million utapata haikatu weta shilingi ya kuna story ya tax. Even though life ni a little bit expensive but it's manageable. Huku hata, hata ukienda upate kitu as in pia as in utanda kwa restaurant upate ikitu ni 15. Kwa kitu kadogo tu hivya kukula tuteme kama sharmu ukienda yeah. kwa little bit fancy. Mm. Asa tabia wa Kenya wengine ni kukonvert hiki tuna pesa ya Kenya. Yeah. Au utawai kunyu wata maji. <laughs> Sabu chupa ya maji ni 2 diram. 2 diram, two diram, diram ni 2 real. Hiyo ni. Uwe ukichange to Kenya shillings ni 8 bob. Ula, hey, ni kunyu maji utakufa my dear. Mm. Usi ufanya hii tabia kukonvert, convert. Wewe peka pesa yako saving, fanya hivi na hivi na hivi. Ukikuwa na hima nset ya kusave, save, convert kila kitu na pesa hako ya nchi yako. Ekonomi ya Kenya si same na huko. Mm. Ekonomi ya Kenya iko, iko down sana. That's why vitu ni expensive huko. Mm. Hmm. Huko, ekonomi yao iko juu. So, utapata vitu klasi, vitu ambo zikona, zikona quality. So, bayi yake always expect zikuwe same na ya huko. Huko, mm. wachinkundo wame to develop, wame to conquer so much. Yeah. Then, this other story, unasema mtu kutumadoo na pata pesa hako ya meli or nini. This is where sometimes the kombianga brain comes in. Most of our people nyako inje, mm. especially wala mbwa kwa Saudi, 
wengi wao ni ignorance kwa sababu hizi story mingi unapata anga kwa tomboa kwa Saudi unalia sana mm. the other countries pia ziko yeah ziko hata watu wako USA wame encounter such problems mm -hmm. but ignorance mm -hmm. enda online pale uliza watu mwambia tiktok yako hiyo wife yako isikuwe tu ya kustock ma ex na kutuwak <laughs> na kuingia live kutuma gift mm -hmm. Sa ingine ingia kwa inbox ya mtu uliza kitu ya maana. Mm. And, nilikuja huku kama sina account. Nitafanya aje unifungua account. Sitai kutuma pesa angu direct. Sabu, I trust my mom but I don't trust. Hile 1% doubt ya nyoko nao. Hiyo ndo yasa inakuwa. Inakuza ya. Mm. Mm. Sabu, that's my trust but I don't trust. Kwa sabu mama yako wakikula pesa yako ya 5 years utampeleka wapi. Nakuna. Utamua. Mm. Nakuna. So, fungua account yako. Tu, hata kupati wanga tu nafasi ya mara moja kwa mwezi kwa ukiwa na wao faambia mdosi wako sikia mimi niko na pesa sitaki kutumia mtu home nipeleke nika deposit kwa account yangu hata kupeleka wadosi wengine si wabaya that much hata kupelewa sababu nakupatia anga driver na kupeleka unatumwa unarudi kwa nyumba watu wengine pia ni waoga waongei so the moment ushaonesha mdosi wako kuwa wewe ni muoga sana anatakia advantage anatakia advantage sana so msikuwe waoga huko nje think ulizeni maswali watu wana invest aje Usinukuje huku unangunia tu shamba kwa sababu the moment umekujanga huku, you are desperate. Utawuzua shamba zeni muuzua tu 50 pesa ko ipote. Mm. So first research first before ukuje huku. Mm. Na ukijua relatives yako si mtu straight forward, pia don't depend on them. Mm. Ah, my relatives, especially my brothers, my sister, my uncles, my other sometimes parents, they are the ones who sometimes natakanga your downfall. Mm. Kwa sababu unawashinda na some, unawana? Umetoka huku umekuja nata kuchange jina hako, wadhani wanafurai yangu? Nah. Wata kupigia vita left, right and center hata uta ya mimi. Yeah bro. So lastly, junajua uko Kenya for a short while. Na staki kuwasti ya time sana. Maybe utakutana tena Dubai na omba. Ya, ya, ya. Dubai utakutana. Kuja, kuja. Maybe utambia wase wako wa TikTok something. Na wase wako pale online. Na maybe wa Kenya mibu wanta wakuenda Dubai. Wache message kidogo na advice. And then we finish this. Mie yangu ina kuanga too simple. Guys, the moment umetoka huku. Kama unatoka huku. Kama kama already uko in Gulf. We are always advocates. Don't forget the mission. Mm. We left home to change home. Mm. Usirudi home ukwe the same person mwenye ulia, ulitoka huku ukiwa. Mm. Yeah? And last, don't forget to subscribe. Just say it here. Subscribe. <laughs> Click the notification button. Uh -huh. Yeah. At just Zeki kwa uh -huh. TikTok. At just Zeki kwa YouTube. At just Zeki si wapi tena? Kila kwa mahali. Kwa nyumba. Si Chini ya kitana. <laughs> Shukran bwana, mshukuru sana. Mshukuru pia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pia guys remember to subscribe to Coach Patrico pale YouTube, pale IG, pale TikTok. Follow jamaa kuna content safi na pia na advice wasepo wapoa. So guys see you next time and remember to subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.